the amount of people I know that are just your average punter in the street would be quite happy if we locked up these areas, small areas for lobsters. Tasmanians know this. People aren't stupid, and I think people are probably sick and tired of hearing the same old spiel. We're following world's best practice. Well, if you're following world's best practice, why have we got some of the world's worst rivers? My experience with, with the, the forest industry as a state body has always been at loggerheads, pardon the pun. Um, I've had a lot of people say that they've got rules and regs in place that protect this animal and, and things are changed, and, and they get quite affronted when you say, well, look, all you've got to do is just put aside some areas that are logging free, mining free, whatever, and it's job done. But they just continually go back to their data sheets and this and that. But the reality is, if you're clearing and introducing sediment and light into these creeks, you're stuffing them. Why can't we just say, okay, let's put 30,000 hectares aside, we've studied this for 20 years, we know where they are, we know where the, the habitat is that could be locked up. That's not a big ask. We, we put aside half a million, you know, only that short time frame ago, and obviously politics destroyed that. I think it's time for people, to, especially politicians, to put their egos aside and just think what they can do for the future, not their party.